107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. 107.5 WBLS, it's Deja Vu in the afternoon. So excited to be joined by this hustle her. This woman has done so many things, starting out as an artist manager. She's an author. And, of course, we know her as the founder and content creator for Love & Hip Hop, the brand, and so many other shows that we'll be talking about as well. Put your hands together for Mona Sky Young. Woo! Hey, Miss Mona. You. Hey, honey, how are you? I am excellent. How are you? I'm great. You are so good at this. Oh, thank you. Like, it's pretty amazing for those of you who are not in the studio to just watch her do what she does. Thank you, darling. Yeah. I try. I try. But no, what you are is amazing. Taking something from artist management, creating this entire brand, and building out now a new product, a new element a new of it. A new brand extension. Yes. Yes. So with the game. All right, so... Before we get to the game, I want to talk to you a little bit about how you got into the business because you started as an artist manager. Mm -hmm. How did you make that segue to doing what you're doing now on TV and digital and beyond? Well, you know, it's interesting. Prior to being an artist artist manager, I started out doing artist development. Mm. And that's actually what connected me to artists and led to my managing producers before I actually started managing artists. Really? So I started out with the track masters and okay. I was doing producer management. And then one thing led to another and Chris Lighty and I hooked up. Up right. and built this amazing, amazing, you know, management company and over the course of the years managed a lot of talent. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I kind of came into it through the back door. Okay, for those of you out guys who don't know, she did violator management, who was on the roster at times, LL, oh, Busta. It feels like we had everyone. Busta, <laughs> LL, Mob Deep, Tribe Call Quest, you know, Maxwell, Fantasia, Mariah. Over the it was 26 years deep. Really? Yeah, so was over it that the course, long? it was a very long time. So over the course of those that. years, we managed so many people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, and so when you decided to walk away from the artist management, or do you still do that arm? Uh, well, I still manage Missy Elliott. Right. You know, she's a longtime client. Missy and I have been together, what, 19 years now? Wow. 19 years, yeah, going on 20. Um, and uh, dabble, but not really. I mean, right now, for the most part, you know, producing content creation. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we have a publishing company as well. So, yes, you know, we that. have, we have yeah, books and some other things that are interesting on the way. And, of course, you know, brand and product development. Development, mm -hmm. You know, the latest incarnation being Love and Hip Hop, the game. Of course. And this yeah. is the important stuff that we're talking about. She's extending her brand from artist management now to con content creation, mm -hmm. but she's keeping on developing things. And that's the new wave that we're talking about with a lot of women, especially who have all these multi talents. We can do all this stuff, but we haven't extended it. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk to you in depth about the game. Love and Hip Hop, the game, y'all. Get ready to download. Download, this app. download <laughs> now. It's out there. You had the successful shows, mm -hmm. you have successful books things that you're doing now, what made you want to create a digital game? Um, I think it was the natural next, you know, extension of the brand. We know how popular the gaming, you know, industry is. And I think that we've been underserved in terms of the love and hip hop audience, in right. terms of like the African American audience. I don't know necessarily that there are that many games out there that look like us and that allow us to navigate, mm -hmm. you know, things that we recognize. So, um, you know, it's all about being in the game, even when you're watching love and hip hop, exactly. you know, the hip hop game. So we just felt like it was a natural kind of extension of that giving our fans who love watching our cast go through everything that they go through the opportunity to go through it themselves mm -hmm. all right so what do you do when you get the game so let's let's walk through it a little bit and then we'll talk more about right. the show and everything well I think some of the more fun elements of the game is that you get to create your avatar right but we've given you a lot of options to uh -oh. choose from uh -oh. everything from you know the size of your hips and the way you want your size chest of the look. hips the really? size of the hips yeah girl you can have the <laughs> you know the regular size booty or the super Size, but um, also the hair, you know, tons and tons of hairstyles. Right. Everything from like the swoop to the braids and different lengths and different textures, which I think is great. Mm -hmm. Different colors. You can change the color of your hair. You can change the color of your eyes. Um, so there are just tons of the shape of your eyebrows. Mm. They can be on fleek or not, <laughs> right? So it's it, tons and tons of options with creating your avatar and making it look either as close to you or as much as you'd like to look like as possible. And then we've got tons of styles wardrobe wise okay. uh, the shoes the clothes the accessories tattoos and it's for men and women it's not oh, nice. just women all right, right fellas you hear that it's for men and women Absolutely. hello you can create and you can be buff and you know diesel if that's what you're feeling that day mm. um so we have tons of options uh to choose from 
So who came to you and approached you with the game? Or did you say, you know what, I want to do the game? Or did someone say, Mona, this would be a great idea? Well, you know what's great? I have amazing partners, right, yes. at Viacom and at VH1. They really have embraced the brand and are open to any ideas that we have to mm -hmm. further the brand. And so here I have Olivia sitting with me. And Olivia Combs was actually our executive producer on the game itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, she works with Dan Yang, who I have to give a shout out to because this man is so amazing because he came in and he heads up. What is his actual title? He's like yeah. VP of Strategic Business Partnerships and <laughs> every other crazy thing Mona could think of that she wants to do outside of the franchise. Let's do it. That's his title. That's awesome. But um, he's just amazing because he really... Um, spearheads developing new opportunities That's for awesome. Viacom and for the different right networks under the brand. And um, he actually was working on, uh, I think you guys had done a game for, what was the other platform? Yeah, we've done games on Steam, Android, iOS, uh, and this was sort of our first huge foray with, uh, with you know, such an amazing brand as Love & Hip Hop in, in the mobile world. Right. Um, but it's South Korea. South Park. We oh, South with. Park. That's yeah. the one I was trying to yeah. think of. Yeah, okay. that's the other big. So they did the South Park game. And so the idea was, how do we capture the spirit of love and hip hop? Right. What, what, what do people want to engage in? What do they want to see? Mm -hmm. So it really became about the narrative and the story and giving people a chance to kind of navigate their own career trajectory. And you come to New York, you get your big shot. So all you, this is in the game. All this is in the game. Okay. After you create, you know, whatever it is you want to look like, you get, you know, you start to play. You get in there and you get your job, your reception right because you're starting from the bottom okay and you get your big opportunity and you rise to the occasion you get noticed by the right people that opportunity builds into others you've got these challenges that you engage in we have side quests that take you kind of on you know other adventures that allow you to kind of not only gain your energy your points your money but also level up in the game as you do in life right especially in hip-hop um and and you just continue to build on that and the goal is to get to mogul status Still chatting with my girl, Mona Scott Young, the executive producer of Love and Hip Hop. Yes, I had to get the titles right up in Thank here. Thank you very much. All right, so <laughs> talk to us about the evolution of the show and where you're going with it. And I also hear that you have a new show that's going to be launching, too. Absolutely. I mean, uh, the evolution of my career, the evolution of the game. The, let's start what are we talking about? The evolution of everything? <laughs> <You know? laughs> we, can talk, we can talk the career, too, because we said you, you transferred from doing the management and then right. you went into content creation. And what gave you the concept for doing Love and Hip Hop in the first place? Place. Um, you know, it started out as a show about Jim Jones, and that was something that Yandy yes, had. That was the yeah, first season. Yandy I had it set up over at VH1, and they were trying to figure it out. And uh, Jim, at that point, didn't want to do a reality show, so it was this anti-reality show mm -hmm. that I actually thought was kind of cool. But um, it, you know, they were now there was this whole surgence of. Uh, ensemble casts of women that was popping up, you know, the right. Housewives franchises and all that. Right. Um, so Jim Ackerman, who was the executive who was at the network at the time, came to me. Um, Yandy brought, you know, Jim in as a client when she joined me after I left Violator mm -hmm. and started Mona Me Entertainment. And she brought Jim Jones and this project that was set up with Jim Ackerman. And um, Jim was like, you know, we've been trying to make this show for a couple of years. Can't quite figure it out. How do we, you know any ideas and I kind of we, we kind of put our heads together along with Yandy and you know Jim at the time had this great girlfriend Chrissy and his yes. mom who was amazing shout out to Mama Jones um, and they we did this pilot for a show about Jim and his family mm -hmm. and then as we brought in that out and brought in some of Chrissy's circle of friends it became more about the en ensemble cast of women Got navigating it. the world of hip hop and that was kind of the evolution of how Love and Hip Hop came to be. Well everybody seems to love it. The ratings are going sky high. You have franchises here, franchises there. Yep. But what do you say to the people who push back and say that you're, you know, perpetuating black stereotypes of women acting out and men in jail? I mean, listen, what I say is that this is a faction of our population. This mm -hmm. is a part of who we are. These people exist. Mm -hmm. um, you know, should there be tons of shows that show the full range of who we are? Absolutely. Right? But there's no reason that we should not be able to shine a light on this faction of the population. I came from hip hop, right. managing recording artists, knowing women who were, you know, married to the game and married to men in the game. Yes. Um, and this was just a slice of life that we wanted to represent. We wanted to pull back the curtain and give people a glimpse of that so you know for people who say that it's like who are we to decide who lives and who dies who should have you know the platform and who should not mm -hmm. I think there's enough here for everybody to get it how do you select your cast members um you know it's a number of ways referrals people who you know actually know 
other people who are already on the cast. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do castings where we're looking for folks who have amazing stories to share and who want to, you know, share their lives with the viewing audience. That's a he heavy thing. Though. That's would, a heavy thing. Would but you that's... ever go and have the show like that just around you 24 seven? Because, you know, we've made pop ups and everything. But would you be there 24 seven? on a The main show? reason why I wouldn't is because it would be boring to watch okay that's what i say to people all the time like there are people who are made to be on television who mm -hmm. should be on television you know I, I my husband and i we would bore you all to death trust so is it scripted because a lot of folks say that it's scripted reality mm -hmm. do you make up the themes and the the storylines and if you don't have an interesting storyline you get dropped you know it's so funny because a lot of the things that happen on the show i could not even imagine in my wildest dreams mm -hmm. okay half the time i'm like if i could come up with half of the stuff i would be doing scripted television people where there are residuals oh Okay. okay, let's be very clear. But it, like a lot of 99.9% .9 of it comes from their lives. Mm -hmm. Do we put it within the construct of a production calendar so that we're shooting it within a schedule? Sure. We don't have cameras on 24 7. And do we sometimes have to recreate? I always say we don't fabricate, but we do recreate. Got you. Because sometimes things happen when the cameras aren't rolling mm -hmm. and they come back and they tell us about it or we hear about it, you know, and then we have to go, oh, darn, we needed that. We needed that to fill in the blanks and story. Mm -hmm. Because what we tried to create was something that plays out like a soap opera so that you're seeing it unfold from one moment to the next. So sometimes if something happens while our cameras aren't rolling, we have to go back and capture that again so that it makes sense for the storytelling. Absolutely. You know? I love it. I could talk to you all day. Like We're not real. making this up, though. It, I have a funny story about that because I had I was in Atlanta yesterday, and I was having um, dinner with, with a very notable producer out there. Shout out. You know who you are. But his life unfolded right in front of us because several women came up to him at the table while we were sitting there and while he's sitting there questioning me about whether or not love and hip-hop is real i'm like are you kidding me that was an episode <laughs> that just played out right here that i had no hand in right so listen we're colorful people we live our lives out loud especially in entertainment this is the stuff that happens mm -hmm. it's not for everybody i'll say that all but. right all right so as a businesswoman, what advice would you give to someone who's on the grind right now, stepping in? We got interns in here. We have people listening who are like, I really want to make that hustle. How would you advise them right now in this day and age to get mm. their foot off the ground? Um, it's about evolution, right? We talked about that a little bit earlier, but really looking at the, you know, the environment around you, what's going on, how do I make sure that I find my lane in that? You know, Anything that you're doing, make sure that you're building it out and growing it in a way that it is evolving and growing with the times. I mean, I started out in music. When I saw a shift happening in music, I decided that it was time for me to transition and to evolve. But I took with me the experience, the contacts, the know-how, the knowledge, and used that to leverage into something different. Different. So I always say those relationships and reputation, those things are key and paramount, okay. right? As you're making your moves, make sure that you keep those things sacred because you're going to need them over and over again for your very survival as you grow and you evolve. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid, right? Fear, it creates adrenaline. Adrenaline does two things. It paralyzes you or it propels you. Harness that fear and use that energy to thrust you into whatever it is you want to do, right? And just be fearless. And, and knowledgeable. Y'all put your hands together for Mona Sky Young, Woo! executive producer of Love & Hip Hop, founder of Monami Entertainment.